Okay, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, we are here today talking about the Sport Energy Support Scheme, SESS Phase 2 for IADA clubs. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to go through a quick slideshow that I have prepared to show all of the boxing clubs how you can draw down on funding from this scheme. And it was uh, launched on the 15th of December and the deadline is the 31st of January. So a uh, little over, what's that, 21, 22 days or so there to get your applications in. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go through it. Um, I'll try to go through it as thoroughly as possible. Um, the, um, there's an ability to uh, ask questions. We may um, have people jumping on in the middle of this um, as we're both recording it and it's live. So um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll go um, as best as we can and answer questions as best as we can. Um, so um, as you can see um, here, it's a Sport Ireland scheme. Uh, phase one happened um, early last year and we've been working with a number of clubs to draw down on it. Um, so some of that will be addressed within. Um, and uh, yeah, away we go. So um the key dates as i mentioned when it opens and uh, when it closes the purpose is the funding is designed to support boxing clubs with uh, the rising energy costs associated with operation um so um things like your energy and uh, your gas and your oil and the increased cost for uh, running what you ran before and just now uh okay in terms of eligibility for your club, um, first of all, you have to be an IABA affiliated club. Um, the increased costs, again, as I mentioned, um, but there are specific periods, as you can see, between September 1st, 2019 and July 31st, 2020 versus September 1st, 2022 and July 1st, 23. So it's effectively the this time period versus this time periods and the increased costs uh, within them. Uh, again, it's uh, aimed at supporting clubs in the Republic of Ireland only. Uh, more uh, eligibility here. Uh, you must be able to demonstrate payments of these costs. Um, previously, we asked clubs to uh, provide us with specific energy bills that were in the club's name. Um, this is a little bit more flexible this time around in that clubs must demonstrate payment of these and not necessarily just energy bills in the club's name. Um, if your energy costs are included in your expenses, for example, in your rent, you'll need to demonstrate these costs separately. So for example, you might ask your landlord if you're renting, if um, you pay a thousand euro in, in rent and 200 of that is for energy, um, and you want to try and represent your payment of energy for your building, you can write to your landlord and try and get that in writing. Again, it must be for those specific periods we're talking about. And the eligibility for this grant is based off of proof of payment, again, uh, as I mentioned already. So how to do it? Um, first step is the link. So this link is um, both emailed to all of the clubs on our IADA website and uh, on our social media platforms. Um, so what I'll do quickly is I will show the website, which has the application on it. The most recent one was on the 2nd of the 1st, and the other one was on the 15th to the 12th is when it was open. The application form is within here. So once I click on that, it brings me through to, no, I'm just gonna go back here and show this, but it brings me, through to this application form here. And there's some more details here, which are also in the presentation that we're gonna go through. Uh, so in a minute, I'll go through some of these steps. Um, the second step is enter those details of your club, the club name, name of person making this application, email of the person making this application, the energy cost from the 1st of September 2019 to July 31st, 2020, in a total figure, uh, for example, 4,000 euro, and the energy costs from September 1st, 22 to July 1st, 23, for example, 8,000 euro. And that's simply it. 
that's all you need to put in here is just number of figures. Okay, uh, again, I'll just for uh, example's sake, I will put in details here. And and so, and so here's what a sample uh, application would look like. Very simply done. However, calculating these might be somewhat difficult for clubs. And then there's two confirmation bits there. I confirm I'll submit relevant paperwork bill statements if requested to the IABA confirming the above information is correct and accurate. And I am aware that all financial support provided is subject to the terms and conditions of Sport Ireland funding and future audit. And then simply hit submit. Okay. Now, as this is live, I'm not going to uh, hit submit, but that's effectively the steps in order to submit your application. Um, what I'm going to spend a little bit of time on is uh, some examples, okay? Um, because I imagine there's going to be a number of queries and questions, uh, some of which um, won't be very obvious. So within the examples, I've tried to keep them diverse enough to cover um, a number of I suppose issues we've had in the previous round of this energy grant and some issues we may predict happen in this round okay so uh sample one uh is if a bill is in the period of september 1st 2019 and july 31st 2020 if that was a thousand euro and the same bill from september 1st to july 1st 2223 was 1500 the eligible amount is 500 very simple uh, again, going back to the application form, all you will do is submit what it was, submit what it is, and then we will do the calculation for you. Um, hopefully, it will be pretty straightforward. Um, so that's example one. Example two, um, the club is applying for uh, energy costs between September 1st, 2019 and December 1st, 2020, and that was 200 euro. And the same bill in the same period um, was 250 euro. Eligible amount is 50 euro there. What I'm trying to get at here is if the club does not have bills from a certain time period, um, that that's okay. If you have them or if you can prove evidence of you paying energy costs for any period of time in these two periods, that's okay. So this club in particular, doesn't have bills from January onwards to July, um, but they do have them from September to December. So again, that's fine. Uh, example three, uh, in the previous round of funding, you've I have received funding already. Uh, so for the period that was previously there, it was September to March, um, from that old period to that new period, I've received funding already for that. So am I eligible for this new round of funding? The answer is yes. Um, if you're able, again, to prove evidence of you paying energy costs between April and July in the 2020 and 2023 period, yes, you can do so. So again, I've put in an example there of it was 500 in that period, now 750 in this period. Eligible amount is 250. You are not eligible for any funding that you have already drawn down on in this older period, if that makes sense. Okay, and last example. Um, and I tried to make it a little bit messier in this time. So uh, a really specific time period uh, from October to March and not including September and not including after March. Um, Am I eligible for energy costs during that time that I can prove that uh, I've paid? Yes, again, is the answer. Uh, you're only eligible for drawdown of what you can prove the club has spent. And this needs to be official um, documentation that you can do that. Okay, some notes on this. Um, Sophie? Um, just a quick one on that, James. So if a club it just... It's a hypothetical question that we could possibly get. If a club has bills, say, from September to December, they're missing January and February, and then they have March to July, are they still eligible if they're missing bills in the middle of the period? Absolutely. Absolutely, okay. yeah. Still eligible. Yeah, that's right. Um, 
as long as the two periods match is is really the answer to that. If you can prove payment of energy costs within the September to July period for any of the months, they have to reflect the same months in the 22-23 period too, if that makes sense. Yep. So um, it's, a, it's a good hypothetical. Um, that might be the case with a number of clubs. I know some of the clubs that we were working with in the past had that where um, we were pushing them to get their energy company to give them a copy of February, for example, and they couldn't they couldn't get their hands on it. Um, what we will do is simply subtract that from the overall amount and, and and then make them eligible for the rest of the period. Yeah. Uh, thanks for that. Um, okay, some notes. Uh, the purpose of the funding, uh, it's to support sport and organizations with the rising energy costs associated with provision of sports. Examples provide training, sparring, competitions in our gyms. Um, note, the grant will only cover the difference in energy costs between the blow dates. It won't cover the energy costs between September and July of 22, 23. It will cover the difference between 22, 23 versus 2019, 2020. That wasn't made clear already. That's just it in a nutshell. Um, the general cost of living increases um, are not eligible. Um, accommodation, rent, rates, or labor costs, not eligible. And uh, as per the government government direction, uh, fuel costs uh, do not qualify either. Uh, vehicles, transport, or travel. Non-energy uh, related increases or pre-existing deaths are also ineligible. And as I've mentioned a number of times already, clubs applying for support must be able to demonstrate payment of these costs. Um, any information missing by January the thirty first? which, as I said, is 22 days from now, means the club is in ineligible. If you're asking for a period between March and December, or sorry, September and March, for example, and you've given us September to February, um, you will only be eligible for September to February. If you're missing, or if you provide September to February in one period, and then give us September to January in the other period, You'll be ineligible altogether because you've supplied us with insufficient information by the deadline. This uh, funding, um, while I remember, is not just it's it's administered by Sport Ireland, but it's not provided by Sport Ireland. It's provided by a different government department, which means that there's very, very, very little flexibility around, which means that it needs to be spent according to a very specific way. Which again means if it's not spent in the specific way that we ask you guys to spend, it's it's given back. There's no repurposing of the funding, and certainly with some history and some more recent history of us being quite flexible with clubs, there is none of that in this regard. Um, okay, and um, uh, finished there with questions. Um, I, I realise that we are. Um, are limited with the number of people on this um, on this video at the moment. So what I will do is um, leave my email, which I'm sure most of you have. Um, and you can shoot me an email if you have any questions on this. Again, January 31st deadline, very, very strict deadline. If it's not met, any communications that are sent to me either before or after the deadline is, is irrelevant. If you haven't provided the information asked for before the 31st of January, the club is ineligible. Is, that. Um, is there anything else that I'm missing there, perhaps? Um, just one question that we may get that we've gotten before. If a club was running in 2019 or 2020, but they weren't affiliated to the IABA during that time, are they eligible to apply for this? Um, that is a good question. Uh, the the requirements state that the club must be affiliated now. Um, uh, no, it's the answer. No, they they must have been affiliated during the nineteen twenty period and the twenty two twenty three period. Um, they must be affiliated for all the periods. Um, 
the reason being that they could have been running gymnastics or badminton or something else within that time. Um, so no, they'll have to be affiliated with the IABA, um, including, of course, for this current season, 23-24. Uh, um, thanks for that. That's a yeah, that's a that's a good one. Um, one of the other questions that we sometimes get is, um, they've taken over the building after the period of nineteen twenty. Um, am I eligible? The answer is no. Um, that period of nineteen twenty is set by uh, Sport Ireland, not by ourselves. Similarly, twenty two twenty three, not set by ourselves. These are the uh, restraints that we have to fit into in order to draw down on this one. Um, so you will need to prove that you have energy bills from that period in 1920 and from 2223. Uh, again, that period is September 2019 uh, to July 2020 and September 2022 to July 2023. Um, not August twenty, uh, not August twenty nineteen, not um, August twenty twenty, and uh, strictly between those those two months. Um, yeah, so I think that's everything. Um, again, if there are any questions, like I mentioned, shoot me an email, James at IABA uh, and we'll do our best to um, to get clubs as eligible as possible for this one. Okay. Uh, thanks very much, everybody. And uh, we will um, we'll be in touch with you soon. Thanks a minute. Cheers. Um...